Dr. Scott Brown is a practicing physician in Baltimore with a lifelong passion for jazz. He wrote the definitive biography of James P. Johnson and is finishing a master's degree in jazz history and research at Rutgers University, Newark. We, we think of the 1920s as the jazz age and perhaps uh, a burgeoning of African-American arts. It was the um, time known as the Harlem Renaissance. It was the era of the classic blues singers such as Bessie Smith. And James P. Johnson was involved in all of those musical realms. He was Bessie Smith's favorite accompanist. And he wrote Broadway shows. and was a prolific composer for piano roles and all sorts of things that he was everywhere, but nobody nowadays knows who he is. So we decided we were going to try and fix that. In a series of interviews late in life, James B. Johnson recalled his days in New Brunswick, learning tunes at his uh, mother's feet at the piano. Her friends who had also migrated up from uh, the Georgia and South Carolina area, who brought a particular type of dance with them called the Ring Shout. The Ring Shout became an elemental component of his musical style into what became known as Harlem Stride Piano. He provided the soundtrack for the, for the, uh, for the decade. He wrote the most popular song of, of, the, of the 20s, the Charleston. 